Yo guys and welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Kev. And it's a good to meet you. And welcome back to the TKS family, K Harris family. Yo, your favorite family channel, guys. You are getting sunburned, boy. Yeah, boy. Goodness, goodness. So I see in the back. <laughs> goodness, no, goodness. No, no, no. <laughs> Who does say that? Maratha. Maratha, we're watching you in. Who oh, you know that? Maratha. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, I see the condition. She's in the back of here. Yeah. Because we got water. I got to wash yeah, yeah, she got the here. She's feeling good. Alright, guys. So, this is the TKS farm, of course. And we are back with a little chit chat with you guys today. Today is Friday. It's nice and beautiful. Sunny yeah, conditions. Really, really nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, really nice. 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 Before we start the chit chat, we want to let you guys know that tomorrow, Thank being Saturday, sorry. yeah, <laughs> and then it fall. <laughs> we're gonna give all the hamper tomorrow to the, the person that is ready in need, so that'll yes, be, guys. um, we're gonna carry you guys on that, that vlog all. So, of course, we don't show the person, but we're gonna show you guys some shots of the areas there, um, where we're going, so you guys will know that in the next vlog, all right? So, we want to show the chit chat and base on the foundation and what really taking place, guys. Now, when it comes to your family, when it comes to the people that you stay, you know, you're living with, or the people that you're taking care of, the first thing you have to prioritize, of course, you know, is God, right? You have to go to church, you have to learn, church come like school, you go to school, you learn, you put into practice. So we know this as an action that there's no debate about this God is truth. That's that we apply, that's what we do in our lives here, in our family, all right? But check this. If it is that you're living a life and you're not doing things to, to make your family smile at the end of the day. You have a family, let me say you don't go nowhere, you don't do nothing with them. For example, if you're just, just working, yeah. working, 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 and just spend time with your family. I think we spoke about this in there. At that time, yeah, we, we, we did talk about this, but we want to, you know, elaborate a little more on it, right? Because you guys need to have, a, have an understanding. There's a life that you need to live in order to provide for your family. You don't want, when you're going out or you're going in the mall, that you're 95% of the time you're window shopping. Before you leave home, you have to write down what it is you need to buy. In other words, but it is. So you know some people will say, well, okay, I only have $500 and this is what we have to get in the grocery thing. I have no problem with that, eh? But you're saying you're serving God, right? You're saying how it is you believe in God, but your life not really projecting it. This is what we're trying to say. And in order for your life to project it, please, you have to do things to elevate your life. You can't just stay at one level in life. You can't just remain at the same pace in life. You can't agree with everything that you can't just move with the crowd. Sometimes you have to, you have to move. If the crowd going right, sometimes you have to move left. It might sound a little iffy, but mm -hmm. it's true. You have to move a little left in order to see what is the challenges of life. I always tell you about challenges. I always tell you about taking risks in life, and there are things that it. we ourselves are doing it, mm -hmm. right? So that's why we're telling you guys. Now you would have heard the story Tristan her daycare, how she you know she risked it all, and the, the daycare end up blossoming. There are things that she pursuing now. There are things that I pursue now that we are trying to put into place in order for us to not be in the predicament of having to like limit ourselves to what we wanted. I need she's talking. I think she agreed to be talking. Yeah, that's listening. Yeah, that's listening. Yes, I'm going with the floor right now. Anyway, so <laughs> what, what is no, your guys. What, yeah. Okay, right, this well, is good. I talk. <laughs> well, it's true what I've said. Mm -hmm. We always have to, you know, do things to come out of the situation that you're probably yeah. in. Probably, yeah, financially, probably down. Mm -hmm. But you can't always accept that, okay, this is not how much financial life is, and that's how it is. Exactly. And, and yes. so, you gotta do always two things, try different, mm -hmm. different things, you know, to. Try to elevate yourself. Yeah, you, you have to, you have to at some point. Remember yeah, that? she's always saying. And learn this, learn this. Your life must have balance. So if you're you you spiritually inclined with God and you're going to church and thing, also your physical life have to show evidence of who you believe. And if God is a great God, you have to have greatness in your life. You have to, yeah, you put him blocking your way. Let me just fix this, guys. This puts in nice breeze blowing, guys. Yeah, yeah, so again. And you also have to spend fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
family. Time is important, guys. It's very important. You guys, don't mind the glare, right? We we ain't really do no setup and put light and dim the place and this all that. We just do raw footage of our video here. Yeah, so go ahead, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. family time is important. So as you say, I think it was last night. Mm. If it's just a little time to go and spend a little. You can't go and spend a trip, but you know, you can't go on a trip, but you know, yeah. And the happy is that you can go and spend money. Yeah, it's important because remember, if life is about memories. And if you have a, a, a daughter or a son, even your wife, your husband, right? You remember if something happens to you, you want them to remember what daddy did, what mommy did, you know? It, 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 yeah. It's not all about just Yes, we know we need money. Right, so I'm not going to say that. We've got nothing wrong with that. They need money. But what wrong with it is that you could save, 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 and tomorrow is not a guarantee for you. Because you could die. You're working so hard, you're saving this mm. money. Because I was showing them on this example mm. yesterday. What's Sir I doing in the background? Really? I was telling yeah. them on this example yesterday. Mm. Imagine you're working so hard. You are saying you're working so hard. You build, you build your homes, you buy your car, you live in life nice, right? Mm. You have most of the money in your bank. If you die today or tomorrow, that same money that you're saving, right? Mm -hmm. That same homes that you sacrifice to build up, the same car that you sacrifice to buy, mm -hmm. I probably remember when you die now, come and just possess possess everything yeah. that you sacrifice and then that family member living life nice and you pay. Mm -hmm. you understand? No, the thing is, now, is nothing it... nothing wrong with you sacrificing to build your life. That's true. But that's how life is. It's just come on, you know. Yeah, things just happen. We're not saying that you're not supposed to put your money and save because you have a future to look for. You must do so. But, but anytime the main focus is just that and you're not prioritizing your family in the way that it should, you know, then, what, you know what I think I want to do when I get older? Oh, yeah. say for example, if I know that I'm sick and I know that I'm going to die, I'm going to you just leave out money to bury me. Mm. I live like my spend my last time on, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least put things in place so that That's, I can. Yeah, put things yeah. in place so that I can bury but mm. you know things that happen, you can just come and die just on the spot. True. Guys, if we're wrong, let me know, you know, you comment down below and tell me if I agree with what we're talking about. But, but we're just saying that life is much more than just the average life. You have to live life in abundance, you have to live, have, you have to, to, to spare, to give to others in order to bless other people's life. And this is what you need to watch out. It's not just like living an average life and saying, well, you know, probably this is what God has for me. But God will have... You don't have that for you. Have that for yourself. Is you putting yourself in that predicament because you're not allowing yourself to uplift yourself and elevate, as she used to say. So you had to elevate 2023. That's all it was about. So we just wanted to share this with you guys because we've seen a lot of people just like not living an uneven life in the sense where they're not balancing their life and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. One focusing more on the other, and basically we've seen a lot of families being destroyed because of this. All right. So there's our family momentum. We live in a life of balance. We we do new things up with yourself. 2023. We know tomorrow is not our own, but we put in things in place today in order to see it happen. All right. Yeah, she always pulling off. <laughs> you see that on face mask. She don't like to see on people's face. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that is our video for today. And you guys are gonna see me in the next video. While the two of them laughing up in the back there. All right, guys. <laughs> Sleepy baby, yeah, she's sleeping now. Yeah, she's so. Sick for the day. Like, all right, big up to all our support, our the peeps who just come in, the farm, everybody, or you big up for yourself. And as always, you know, we're gonna come off here, and you guys are gonna see us in the next vlog. All right, so until then, I say undivided and together forever. We are. Let's go, farm.